Ivan Pavlov was a Russian physiologist and psychologist who is best known for his research on classical conditioning. He conducted experiments with dogs, where he observed their salivary responses to food and later conditioned them to salivate at the sound of a bell, which had been repeatedly associated with food. Pavlov was initially interested in understanding about the digestive system, which prompted his experiments to see how dogs digest their food. Upon starting them, he noticed that whenever he brought food to the dogs, they would start to salivate before they even tasted the food. This made him curious and he began to investigate further. Pavlov decided to conduct an experiment to study this phenomenon. He brought the dogs into his lab and began ringing a bell every time he brought them food. He did this repeatedly for several days. At first, the dogs didn't respond to the sound of the bell, but after a few days, they began to salivate as soon as they heard the bell, even if no food was present. Pavlov realized that the sound of the bell had become associated with the food in the dogs' minds. He called the food the unconditioned stimulus because it caused an automatic response, salivation. And he called the sound of the bell the conditioned stimulus because it had been paired with the food and now also caused salivation. The dogs had learned to associate the sound of the bell with the presence of food, which caused them to salivate in anticipation of the food. This learned response was called the conditioned response. Pavlov then decided to see if he could unteach this response by repeatedly ringing the bell without giving the dogs any food. Over time, the dogs gradually stopped salivating when they heard the bell alone. This process he called extinction. However, even after the dogs had stopped responding to the sound of the bell, if Pavlov started ringing the bell again after a period of time, the dogs would start to salivate once more. This he called spontaneous recovery. In summary, Pavlov discovered that through repeated pairing of a neutral stimulus, the bell, with an unconditioned stimulus, the food, he could condition the dogs to respond to the bell alone with a learned response, salivation. This response could be unlearned through repeated presentation of the conditioned stimulus, the bell, without the unconditioned stimulus, the food, but the learned response could also spontaneously recover after a period of time had passed. So how could Pavlovian conditioning be used to manipulate people? Here are a few ways it could be used to do exactly that. Creating false associations. If someone repeatedly pairs a specific stimulus with a desired behavior or emotion, they could potentially create a false association in the person's mind. For example, if someone repeatedly pairs a political slogan with a positive emotion, they could influence people to support their political agenda without logical reasoning or critical thinking. Using rewards and punishments. Pavlovian conditioning relies on the use of rewards and punishments to shape behavior. Someone could potentially manipulate people by selectively rewarding or punishing certain behaviors to shape the behavior of individuals or groups in a particular direction. Using subliminal messages. Subliminal messages are stimuli that are presented below the threshold of conscious awareness. They could potentially be used to manipulate people by associating a specific message or emotion with a subliminal stimulus that is repeatedly presented, such as a sound or image. Whilst these could work, it's important to note that humans are complex beings with a variety of cognitive, emotional, and social factors that can influence their behavior. Furthermore, it's important to note that any attempt to use classical conditioning to manipulate or control someone's behavior is unethical and can have harmful consequences. As a result, classical conditioning is just one of many factors that can affect human behavior and may not always be the most effective way to modify behavior or attitudes. It's important to respect individuals' autonomy and right to make their own choices, rather than attempting to use conditioning techniques to control their behavior. So don't do it. Don't.